the Joe Rogan experience. I mean, I say this all the time because the uh, percentage of graft keeps getting higher and higher. Now, we found out recently that something like, oh, I'm going to get the number wrong. Maybe you can look it up on your magic light box. But like 20 percent, I think, of the uh, unemployment checks we passed out during COVID were complete fraud. A mere pittance. <laughs> 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 the uh, PPP. Yeah, oh my God. So well, many the, people got arrested the, for the, having Lamborghinis and shit. Right. I mean, J.K. <laughs> Rowling got money. No, she her, didn't. Yeah, for her Broadway show. What? Because if she didn't, she'd be living in her car, Joe. Ah, uh, she got <laughs> money from that? That's hilarious. Everybody got money. That Tom Brady got. So crazy. And, like, when you look at some of the percent, and, like, the number for uh, to build a house for the homeless in LA has risen to $837,000. A mere pittance, Bill Maher. <laughs> a mere pittance from these greedy so, billionaires so out there. We need to tax I'm, them all. If I'm complaining about that, again, to your point about a Republican idea, people would say, oh, you're complaining about government spending money. And my answer is, okay, but is there any number at which point I am not tipped over into the Republican side, right. that I can't complain about money that is just being stolen. Right. I mean, we. I, oh, I totally, <laughs> as a good liberal, I totally accept the notion that, as someone once said, you cannot transfer money except with a leaky bucket. I get it. It can't be perfect. But is it not, 20 percent. But is there, is there no number <laughs> for which I cannot remonstrate against right. this? Twenty percent is a low. That I mean, it, it's even higher than that. That was only the unemployment checks. The PPP stuff was even higher. That's where the it's and, beautiful and brilliant because they attach it to something that's like, look, we, we need to help these people. We need to help these people. These people are all losing their jobs and their their businesses are shut down. We need to provide them with money, right. and then the grift. The, the grift. The, some of it gets just, it's like yes. let's I mean, promote and whoever's doing it California tried to build a railroad they wanted to build a rail line between LA and San Francisco made sense it's a big long state and cars and blah blah good for the environment and it was when they finally pulled the plug because it just became too uh, uh, ridiculous it was at two hundred million dollars a mile. Now France, <laughs> France built uh, France, a country not unknown to uh, have unions and workers' rights. Very big over there in Europe, right? Workers' rights, unions. I mean, they're always on strike, uh, always on strike in Europe, and they talk with their hands. Okay, so <laughs> France, again, a very unionized country, did it for like one seventh. That's how bad. One seven. Yeah, something like that, uh, which again is something like fifteen million dollars a mile or whatever it was. Right. But I mean, two hundred million dollars a mile, and it was only to finally was only to connect like Bakersfield to, to I don't know, uh, Pacoima or something, and they couldn't even do that. Were you in Boston when they were doing the big dig? I was never in Boston. I mean, I played Boston, loved playing the town, but I've never lived there. But I know of it. I remember 60 Minutes doing a story on it, just the big <laughs> dig. It was, and they did finally finish it. They did. But it was so late, and it was so, they yes. robbed so much money from it. <laughs> oh, I'm sh exactly. It was that was the whole thing about right. the corruption oh, involved. Oh, of course. In that. Yeah. And it was really just a short tunnel un from the airport. Mm -hmm. Was it under Logan? One of the few airports in the country that's right next to the city. Yep. Like only like there in Vegas do you fly in right, right. and you're like five minutes from yeah. downtown. It's awesome. And I think it, that, it was not where it was connecting. Yeah, the they tunnel. were trying to lighten up some of that traffic. And right. it, they completed it, but it was like, I mean, they were doing it when I was there in the 80s. And then they were right. still doing it when I came back. I, um, what year was the Big Dig completed? I want to say it was like right. at least 10 years late. 2004. Oh, yeah. 2004, they completed. Yeah, yeah. so oh, seven. <laughs> so they were doing it when I lived yeah. there. I mean, this look. The, you know, when I hear about build back better, um, okay. Look, certainly the country needs to get rebuilt. I mean, the infrastructure is a mess. Yeah, but I'm thinking always like, when you give me a number, it's like, it just seems like you pulled it out of your ass. 
you know, it's going to cost $1.5 billion. We know that for it, 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 and it came in right at that <laughs> round number, huh? Yeah. To rebuild this or something. And and are, are we going over this with a fine tooth? Are, there, are we really seeing that it – what if we only spent $1.2 billion? Uh, or trillion, I'm, I'm undercounting it. Uh, what if we only spent 1.2 trillion? Uh, what would we be sacrificing? Anything? Where? Because so much of that money is going to consultants, yeah. and just sub- siphoned off by all the <laughs> pigs at the trough, all snorting this shit up with their big fucking snouts. Yeah, and there's very few people that are saying that. But right. that's, that's exactly that's, what's happening. I, that to me is not a Republican idea. Right. It's just. I mean, it's just common sense. Yes.